Vladimir Putin's inner circle also feeling the pain of Russia's all-out invasion of Ukraine. Today, the White House announced new sanctions against members of the Russian elite and their companies. Officials say they'll block them and their family members from the U.S. financial system and freeze all of their assets. You'll probably recognize some of them. At the top of the list, Dmitry Peskov. He's the spokesman for the Kremlin. Then there's the billionaire Yevgeny Prigozhin. He's wanted by the FBI, accused of interfering in the 2016 presidential election. The U.S. is also targeting the Russian oligarch Alshir Ousmanov. He's one of the richest men in all the world, according to Forbes, estimated to be worth north of $14 billion. Yesterday, German officials seized his luxury super yacht, yacht at a shipyard in Hamburg. It's more than 500 feet long, roughly half the length of an aircraft carrier. This super yacht features two helicopter pads, a beauty salon, a dozen suites, and the biggest swimming pool at the time ever installed on a yacht. Price tag, roughly $600 million. CNBC's Robert Frank now. Robert, that wasn't the only yacht that got nabbed. No, it wasn't, Shep. Last night, French authorities swooping in on another yacht over in the Med. French authorities seizing a 280-foot yacht named Amore Vero, or True Love, from a shipyard near Marseille. It is owned by Rosneft CEO and billionaire Igor Sechin. He is on the EU sanctions list. The boat was undergoing repairs and, quote, making arrangements to sail urgently. That's according to French officials. Now, high-profile Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich announcing he is selling the Chelsea Football Club. He said the proceeds from the sale, that's expected to top $4 billion. They're going to go to a foundation benefiting all victims of the war in Ukraine. Unclear whether that also includes Russians. Real estate broker is telling me that Abramovich is also looking to sell his London mansion. Potential buyers have been given tours of the property. That's next to Kensington Palace. Abramovich bought that mansion for more than $100 million back in 2009. The White House list spares the richest Russians, including Abramovich and Vladimir Potanin, tying Russian oligarchs directly to Putin and directly to assets is proving very difficult because they're all masters of using shell companies and relatives to hide their true ownership. Former Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin saying today that the White House should hit them harder. I would immediately uh, cease any payments in the, the energy markets. The fact that money is still going to Russia through that is something I would stop immediately, and I would sanction more people that are around Putin. And a U.K. minister calling for oligarch properties in the U.K. to be seized and used to house Ukrainians fleeing the war. Meanwhile, at a Spanish boatyard, a Ukrainian boat mechanic tried to sink a yacht that's owned by a Russian arms dealer. He told the Spanish court, quote, I don't regret anything I've done and I would do it again.